Chapters 1 to 7 of The Book of Revelation from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Robin Cotter, October 2007. The Book of Revelation from the World English Bible, Chapters 1 to 7. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things which must happen soon, which he sent and made known by his angel to his servant John, who testified to God's word and of the testimony of Jesus Christ about everything that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy, and keep the things that are written in it, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven assemblies that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from God, who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who were before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us, and washed us from our sins by his blood, and he made us to be a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and the dominion, for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, including those who pierced him. All the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. Even so. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother, and partner with you in oppression, kingdom, and perseverance in Christ Jesus, was on the isle that is called Patmos, because of God's word and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice, like a trumpet, saying, What you see, write in a book, and send to the seven assemblies, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Theatera, Sardis, Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. Having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and among the lampstands was one like a son of man, clothed with a robe reaching down to his feet, and with a golden sash around his chest. His head and his hair were white as white wool, like snow. His eyes were like the flame of fire. His feet were like burnished brass, as if it had been refined in a furnace. His voice was like the voice of many waters. He had seven stars in his right hand. Out of his mouth proceeded a sharp, two-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining at its brightest. When I saw him, I fell at his feet, like a dead man. He laid his right hand on me, saying, Don't be afraid. I am the first, and the last, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the keys of death and of Hades. Write therefore the things which you have seen, and the things which are, and the things which will happen hereafter the mystery of the seven stars, which you saw in my right hand, and the seven golden lampstands. The seven stars are the angels of the seven assemblies. The seven lampstands are seven assemblies. To the angel of the assembly in Ephesus write, He who holds the seven stars in his right hand, he who walks among the seven golden lampstands, says these things. I know your works, and your toil and perseverance, and that you can't tolerate evil men, and have tested those who call themselves apostles, and they are not, and found them false. You have perseverance, and have endured for my name's sake, and have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I am coming to you swiftly and will move your lampstand out of its place, unless you repent. But this you have, that you hate the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. 
He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of my God. To the angel of the assembly in Smyrna write, The first and the last, who was dead and has come to life, says these things. I know your works, oppression, and your poverty, but you are rich, and the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews, and they are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Don't be afraid of the things which you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have oppression for ten days. Be faithful to death, and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. He who overcomes won't be harmed by the second death. To the angel of the assembly in Pergamum write, He who has the sharp two-edged sword says these things. I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. You hold firmly to my name and didn't deny my faith in the days of Antipas, my witness, my faithful one, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there some who hold the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to throw a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. So you also have some who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans likewise. Repent, therefore, or else I am coming to you quickly, and I will make war against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. To him who overcomes, to him I will give of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows but he who receives it. To the angel of the assembly of Theatra, write, The Son of God, who has his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet are like burnished brass, says these things. I know your works, your love, faith, service, patient endurance, and that your last works are more than the first. But I have this against you, that you tolerate your woman, Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. She teaches and seduces my servants to commit sexual immorality, and to eat things sacrificed to idols. I gave her time to repent, but she refuses to repent of her sexual immorality. Behold, I will throw her into a bed, and those who commit adultery with her into great oppression, unless they repent of her works. I will kill her children with death, and all the assemblies will know that I am he who searches the minds and hearts. I will give to each one of you according to your deeds, but to you I say, to the rest who are in Theatra, as many as don't have this teaching, who don't know what some call the deep things of Satan, to you I say, I am not putting any other burden on you. Nevertheless, hold firmly that which you have until I come. He who overcomes, and he who keeps my works to the end, to him I will give authority over the nations. He will rule them with the rod of iron, shattering them like clay pots, as I also have received of my Father, and I will give him the morning star. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. And to the angel of the assembly in Sardis write, He who has the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars, says these things. I know your works, that you have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and keep the things that remain, which you were about to throw away. For I have found no works of yours perfected before my God. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Keep it and repent. If, therefore, you won't watch, I will come as a thief, and you won't know what hour I will come upon you. Nevertheless, you have a few names in Sardis that did not defile their garments. They will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes will be arrayed in white garments, and I will in no way blot his name out of the book of life, and I will confess his name before my Father, and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. 
To the angel of the assembly in Philadelphia write, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one can shut, and who shuts and no one opens, says these things. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one can shut, that you have a little power, and kept my word, and didn't deny my name. Behold, I give of the synagogue of Satan, of those who say they are Jews, and they are not, but lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you. Because you kept my command to endure, I also will keep you from the hour of testing, which is to come on the whole world, to test those who dwell on the earth. I am coming quickly. Hold firmly that which you have, so that no one takes your crown. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will go out from there no more. I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and my own new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. To the angel of the assembly in Laodicea write, The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the head of God's creation, says these things. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were cold or hot. So, because you are lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, and have gotten riches, and have need of nothing, you don't know that you are the wretched one, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me the gold refined by fire, that you may become rich, and white garments, that you may clothe yourself, and that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And I salve to anoint your eyes, that you may see. As many as I love, I reprove and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will come in to him, and will dine with him, and he with me. He who overcomes, I will give to him to sit down with me on my throne, as I also overcame, and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the assemblies. After these things I looked and saw a door opened in heaven, and the first voice that I heard, like a trumpet speaking with me, was one saying, Come up here, and I will show you the things which must happen after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit. Behold, there was a throne set in heaven, and one sitting on the throne that looked like a jasper stone and a sardius. There was a rainbow around the throne, like an emerald to look at. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones. On the thrones were twenty-four elders sitting, dressed in white garments, with crowns of gold on their heads. Out of the throne proceed lightnings, sounds, and thunders. There were seven lamps of fire burning before his throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne was something like a sea of glass, similar to crystal. In the midst of the throne, and around the throne, were four living creatures, full of eyes before and behind. The first creature was like a lion, and the second creature like a calf, and the third creature had a face like a man, and the fourth was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each one of them having six wings, are full of eyes around and within. They have no rest day and night, saying, Holy, 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 is the Lord God, the Almighty, who was, and who is, and who is to come. When the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne, to him who lives for ever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne, and worship him who lives for ever and ever, and throw their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, the Holy One, to receive the glory, the honor, and the power, for you created all things, and because of your desire they existed and were created. I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a book written inside and outside, sealed shut with seven seals. 
I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to break its seals? No one in heaven above, or on the earth, or under the earth, was able to open the book or to look in it. And I wept much, because no one was found worthy to open the book or to look in it. One of the elders said to me, Don't weep. Behold, the lion who is of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has overcome, he who opens the book and its seven seals. I saw in the midst of the throne, and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, a lamb standing, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. Then he came, and he took it out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the book, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, each one having a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. They sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the book and to open its seals, for you were killed and brought us for God with your blood, out of every tribe, language, people, and nation, and made us kings and priests to our God, and we will reign on earth. I saw, and I heard something like a voice of many angels around the throne. The living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousands of ten thousands, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who has been killed to receive the power, wealth, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. I heard every created thing which is in heaven, on the earth, under the earth, on the sea, and everything in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb be the blessing, the honor, the glory, and the dominion, for ever and ever. Amen. The four living creatures said, Amen. The elders fell down and worshipped. I saw that the Lamb opened one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying, as with a voice of thunder, Come and see, and behold a white horse, and he who sat on it had a bow. A crown was given to him, and he came forth conquering, and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come. Another came forth, a red horse. To him who sat on it was given power to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. There was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the living creature saying, Come and see, and behold a black horse, and he who sat on it had a balance in his hand. I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A kinix of wheat for a denarius, and three kinics of barley for a denarius. Don't damage the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the fourth living creature saying, Come and see, and behold a pale horse, and he who sat on it, his name was Death. Hades followed with him. Authority over one-fourth of the earth, to kill with the sword, with famine, with death, and by the wild animals of the earth, was given to him. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been killed for the word of God, and for the testimony of the Lamb which they had. They cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, Master, the holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? A long white robe was given to each of them. They were told that they should rest yet for a while, until their fellow servants and their brothers who would also be killed, even as they were, should complete their course. I saw when he opened the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth made of hair, and the whole moon became as blood. The stars of the sky fell to the earth, like a fig tree dropping its unripe figs when it is shaken by a great wind. The sky was removed like a scroll when it is rolled up, Every mountain and island were moved out of their places. The kings of the earth, the princes, the commanding officers, the rich, the strong, every slave and free person, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains. They told the mountains and the rocks, 
fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, so that no wind would blow on the earth, or on the sea, or on any tree. I saw another angel ascend from the sunrise, having the seal of the living God. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom he was given to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Don't harm the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, until we have sealed the bondservants of our God on their foreheads. I heard the number of those who were sealed, one hundred forty-four thousand, sealed out of every tribe of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asher, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Naphtali, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Manasseh, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Simeon, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Levi, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Issachar, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Joseph, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed twelve thousand. After these things I looked, and behold a great multitude, which no man could number, out of every nation and of all tribes, peoples, and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, dressed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands. They cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation be to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne, the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before his throne, and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of the elders answered, saying to me, These who are arrayed in white robes, who are they, and from where did they come? I told him, My Lord, you know. He said to me, These are those who came out of the great tribulation. They washed their robes, and made them white in the Lamb's blood. Therefore they are before the throne of God. They serve him day and night in his temple. He who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. They will never be hungry, neither thirsty any more. Neither will the sun beat on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne shepherds them, and leads them to springs of waters of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. End of chapters 1 to 7